Hello and welcome to Adam Cray Do Stuff, where today we're doing some travelling all the way to Fantageland in Germany. Now it's no secret that Fantageland is not the easiest theme park to get to in Europe, so we're going to film our journey from here over to there and see how it goes. Um, already we can't fly from our local airport, which is Birmingham, so we're having to go to Manchester. I think it was a choice between Manchester and Stansted, wasn't it? And Stansted was like 6am, so that wasn't happening at all. Um, so flying from Manchester, flying Ryanair, which is, you know... It is what it is. Um, and then, of course, when we get to the other side, we've got to use public transport to get from the airport to the theme park. We're staying at the Charles Lindbergh Hotel, which is going to be amazing. Um, so, let's go. You may have noticed we've never done a travel day video before. Um, we're travelling to... Fantasyland, staying at the Charles Lindbergh Hotel. Now, <laughs> normally, if we're having a theme park holiday, in the past we've always booked a package deal. So you get your flight, your hotel, your park, not always park. Sure, um, you know package deal is Yeah, you know what package <laughs> deal is. Um, but they don't do packages here, so we've had to book everything separately. So, currently, on our way to Manchester Airport because they don't do flights to Cologne from uh, our local airport, Birmingham. So this is a, a airport we're not familiar with, so we don't know the layout. Um, when we get to Cologne, because we've not got transport included, we've got to make our way there by public transport. I believe we've got to do two trains and maybe a bus. Is that right? Something like that, yeah. I think yeah. it's like a train and then a, a trammy undergroundy thing and then a bus, yeah. The Fantasia Land shuttle will have stopped operating yeah. by the time we get there, we'll so we're having to make it all the way there on just general German public transport. Mm -hmm. um, which I mean, German public transport is much better than English public transport, but because we're not used to it and all the station names obviously are German and it's an unfamiliar country, it's um, it's not an easy journey to make. So it might be... A mile, keep right to stay on M6. So it might be quite stressful. So we thought, why not make a video about so it? We're not very good with public transport at the best of times, are we? No. London's no. traumatising for mm. us, so who knows how this is going <laughs> to turn out. Yeah, wish us luck, wish us luck, guys. Here we are, that's the first leg of the journey complete. It was the easiest bit, wasn't it, driving to Manchester Airport? Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> easy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Find a parking find, place. It has to say, no. Christ, it's absolutely, absolutely full. Packed. Yeah. We managed to find somewhere for him. And we're on the roof. Yes, we mm. are. In the British sun. It's absolutely stunning. Um, Lovely. And yeah. I believe when we get to Germany, it's going to be 28 degrees. 29 all three days. degrees. 29. Yeah. Well, this morning's at 29, yeah. Um, but we're not going to do what we did in Orlando and complain about the heat on every single vlog. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's quite quite warm, is it? It's probably going to be warmer in Germany than it will be in Spain when we go later this when year. Later this year, yeah. Um, but amazing, you can't go wrong with that, can you? When we first booked this, I imagined it would be sort of like in coats and stuff. So we're going to head to the terminal now, grab some grub, see what's about, and um, just wait until our flight takes off. Yeah. Two in three days. <laughs> waiting for our flight now so we've popped to Costa we've both got the new um, maple hazelnut um, which sounds lovely um, we did go to KFC to have some food there but we had to eat it on our knee because uh, yeah, nice we couldn't, there was no nowhere to sit yeah. I was worried I was gonna make a mess of that all over my jeans before yeah, I've even yeah. got there it's not like Birmingham you've got like a full weather spoons there haven't you when yeah you sit down they've got like yeah. a pub in the middle but it was extortion it, it was like yeah. 17 pounds for fish and chips I ain't yeah about that. <laughs> I ain't and then about that. four quid for a diet coke so mm. insane mm. insane KFC KFC KFC, but there's no there's nowhere to actually sit in KFC, it's just a counter, so you have to like sit and eat it awkwardly. Yeah. Watch, watching the planes go by, like right? wasn't wasn't great. <laughs> no. And I always get boat on the bone chicken as well, so I'm like it's with bits of skin falling <laughs> everywhere. It wasn't it wasn't good. And my burger bun was sliding everywhere, the bloody sauce was ripping out of it. Not quite. <laughs> but at least it cost you to sit in. We should have come here and got we a toast. Should have come here and got a toasty, but I didn't know where this was. We just passed it now when we was uh, walking through, what's it called, duty free, yeah. Yeah, 
it's a small duty free actually compared to the one in Birmingham. I mean, I don't know if the other terminals here have a, big, have a bigger duty free. Well, the um, duty free at Birmingham, you literally you have to walk through it, don't you? You do, like, yeah. yeah. Um, it's almost part of the corridor, isn't it? You go mm. through the duty, you snake through the duty free bit with loads of people with perfume, drinks with salt, yeah. packets, pepper spray or something. <laughs> Um, but yeah, here it's only a small one, and there's no. I think it's just, there's not as much as there. Yeah, no, I don't feel. No. Probably more food stuff, but mm. less all the stuff. We've got Birmingham's got like the luggage shop and that kind of thing. Really. Yeah. The booths yeah. is tiny. That was an absolute hell. It's chaos trying to get stuff Ooh. in there. Oh. We've arrived, yay! <laughs> we forgot to mention actually when we was in Manchester how easy it was to get through the Manchester security. We walked straight through, didn't we? Never been that no. quick through security, like ever. The, the easiest it's ever been for us ever. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Um, it was about, it was an hour and 45 minutes late leaving Manchester, which was a bit annoying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's right now, what do you yeah. expect? But Doing the flight anything. was nice, it was a, a very nice, pleasant flight, wasn't it? It's what? a very clear day, so I got to see quite a lot out the window. Craig was playing on his switch. Yeah, we're going downstairs, see a train symbol. Oh, okay. So we're going to make our way to way. the train station. Um, now we get Adam nearly got a stop sync to the country, didn't you? Because he looks suspicious. <laughs> did you not get asked that question? Yeah, I did get asked that question, oh, but okay. I answered it rather than just panicking. Mm. So she says, what's your reason for visiting? And I said, uh, we're just visiting. <laughs> honestly, honestly. Luckily, because like, I obviously said Fantasialand when the guy asked me, and he said, are you on your own? And I said, no, 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 I'm with this one here and pointing at Adam. So luckily he saved you, didn't he? Because mm. I'd already told him. <laughs> yeah, so he told the girl, because she kind of looked at him all puzzled and then looked at me puzzled and, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise he'd be somewhere getting searched <laughs> and questioned right now. <laughs> Which makes me laugh because you probably have the least suspicious face of anyone in this place. <laughs> oh, there you go. Right. Um, oh, this looks... So this is the, the S symbol that we need to follow to get to the train station, I believe. Um, and then once we get there, we've got to try and work out how to get tickets and all that shenanigans, but it should be fun. I don't know if we can get tickets at Cologne Central or whatever they call it in German. We need to go find the underground now, I believe, which is across the road. I can see the U signs. Um, so I'm assuming it's an underground. <laughs> I don't actually know. I'm assuming that's what the U stands for. We nearly didn't make it because Adam took us to the wrong platform, didn't you? <laughs> the ticket had one B written on it, which I assumed meant platform one B. But it did not. What did it, it mean? It did not. It meant... It, meant, it was the price bracket or something. The price bracket, that's it, yeah. So it wasn't one B at all. So we had to... Um, Refind the right platform before the train came. So Adam is no longer in charge of directing us there. I am. So it looks like we're getting this little fancy lift to go down to the. Um... We're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not going down, Adam? Oh, you just. Oh, oh yeah. we're on. Oh. oh. Okay. So I thought. The naught would be, obviously the naught is ground floor, I get that now, and we're already on the ground floor, so we need the U for underground, but I didn't even <laughs> see that there was a second button. Um, yeah, some other um, poor guy was like, is this the right train? And we were like, look, we think it is, but we know about as much as you, so. Well, it's not going that well, is it? To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Ticket machine's broken. I think we're at the right place. I think we're about to get on the right train. Um, I've had to go on, like, download an app and get, a, the tickets because the ticket machine wasn't accepting cards, was it? No. 
Uh, and we've got no, well, we've got cash, but we've got no coins. <laughs> the, ash, the, the app was really hard to understand. Obviously. Yeah, the app, well, the app's in English, but then as soon as you go to buy your ticket, the ticket types are all in German, yeah. so probably I've got the right ticket. <laughs> um, and you can only buy one at a time, so I've had to buy two. Um, and then obviously I'm trying to work out where we need to go and where we need to be. Um, so not having a great deal of fun yet, are oh, we, to be mm. quite honest. It's mm. going to be quite late by the time we get to the hotel. Um, and we're going to be quite late eating tonight, but we'll make it there one way or another. Oh, it's so loud. We're on, and I think we're going in the right direction. We think we're going in the right direction, don't we? I hope so, yeah. <laughs> it's 18 stops away, so it's quite a journey. About 35 minutes, uh, and then we have to get a bus. <laughs> Um, I mean, you can you can obviously get an Uber from the airport. It's only twenty minutes, but it's like sixty. Wait, isn't it? No, no, no. It was about sixty pounds, okay. like whatever day. Like, no, that's not saying sixty pounds, is it? Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, that was far too expensive. Obviously, if we do that back as well, that's one hundred and twenty quid just in travel, which is ridiculous. Whereas this cost us what? Less than ten euro each. So. Depends whether you want to pay for the less stress, really. Right, we're on the home stretch. <laughs> we've made it to Bromit. So we've now just got to find the bus station um, at Bromit, and then we should be able to get a bus to, I don't even know, I can't even pronounce where we're going. Um, and then it's like an eight minute walk from there, I think. Oh, After all the blabber with the tickets at the uh, station, you could actually buy them on that train. Yeah, yeah, you can actually, there's a machine on the train. And we're going here to this one. I have absolutely no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that, but that's where we're going, the 707, that one. What? Oh, <laughs> we're finally here. What a stressful day it has oh been. What a long God. day it has been. Horrific. We was going to film the ending at the front of the hotel, but well, there was idea, a little bit of a rush. Um, our idea was to get off the bus and film us walking yeah, to Fantasia yeah. Land. But um, we got off the bus, was walking through City like... Map. City Mapper and Google did us absolutely dirty. Yeah, we was lost in a neighbourhood. We could see Mystery Castle. <laughs> we could, we could, like, yeah. We know we, we need to be in that, that direction. direction. I don't know how to get there. <clears throat> and then... <clears throat> We heard a man and a woman shouting. Um, I assumed it was a couple having a domestic in the street, but they carried on shouting, shouting. Craig they shouted Fantasyland, so we were like, um, what? And they were <laughs> directing us, so we were like, oh, thank you, that's really nice. Um, and then we made a really stupid decision to get in his car. Mm, I mean... They were, they were like... Um, the Because the, the wife was up on the balcony and the guy was in the car, I don't know where he was going, and she was like, actually, actually, my husband will give you a lift, and we're far too polite to be like, no, you might murder <laughs> us. So we just went, OK. I mean, I just wanted to get here after a long day. I did. Yeah. I mean, everything they teach about not in getting into cars with strangers, we <laughs> oh, completely I disregarded I had, that. I had my key in my fist ready to um, <laughs> poke his eye out if I needed to, and I made sure that he we, he was going, that the, the signs for Fantasyland were in the direction he was driving. And it was only about two minutes, wasn't it, yeah. from where he was? Yeah. But we're here. We are here. <laughs> we are we're here. in our cabin now. Um, we're not going to show you much because there's going to be a whole video on that, so you'll have to watch that. Um, but pretty hungry now after they we've had. Very, very hungry. Mm. Luckily, it's still open. But go and watch the um, Charles Lingborough Hotel vlog. When what it's up. we've seen already, it absolutely looks mm. amazing. So go check the channel. That will be up very, very soon. And, of course, all the Fantasyland vlogs will be coming as well because it's our first time. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so glad we're finally here.